Hey, Bunny, what are we doing today? We're going to visit a local Atlanta cosplayer's craft room, Sammy. That's really cool. Isn't she like supposed to be a really good friend of yours, too? Uh, yeah, Katie Cosplays. You might have heard of her. I definitely have. That's a big name in the community, and I'm sure you've heard of her, too. So let's go see her stuff. Oh, hello. I wasn't waiting behind that door. Hi. Hello and welcome. Thank you. All right, come on in. My name is Katie. Uh, I go by Katie Cosplays online. Um, by day, I am a consultant for a really cool software company. Um, by night, I guess, and by weekend, I am a costumer. I've been cosplaying since 2004, uh, so a really, really long time. I'm kind of most known for um, my Sailor Moon costumes um, and Wonder Woman, mostly because um, that one was featured on a cosplay reality show. I kind of, there are some things that I told myself if I ever have a big, massive craft room, and I said, one day I will, um, I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. And so that's what I was trying to go for, is like, what what would my dream craft room be? And that's kind of what I tried to set up here. Um, for a quick tour of my space, I tried to make it um, functional and also kind of concentrated functionalities. Um, this is my sewing space. I've got my serger here. I've got my sewing machine here. Um, my thread is right there on the wall, so as I'm sewing, I can quickly grab thread. Um, all of my uh, much needed, uh, frequently used uh, sewing supplies are in here. Before I would um, be sewing like this and I would have to do this to watch TV. Mm -hmm. So I'd be like, like that's nice peripheral. Exactly, <laughs> that's the kind of like extra ass shit that I was going for when I started putting design and layout of this room. Next I have my cutting space. So this is where I do all of my uh, pattern drafting, all of my cutting. This is a uh, work in progress, so this is where I will maybe hang fabric um, for a costume that I'm working on. I also have these buckets for anything that's kind of too difficult to hang. Um, they're organized by what character they are for. Typically, I'm usually working on about three costumes at a time, so that's why I have three buckets. This is the kind of the wig styling area. So I've got my wig cutting tools either here or over there. Um, the idea is that I never have to go far and I always know that probably if I have a wig styling something, it's over here. It's never gonna end up over there in the uh, sewing space. This is where I keep my pattern storage. Um, I've, got, I've got years and years of patterns collected, so they all go into these drawers. I've got my Cricut here for cutting. Um, and then next to that, I've got my laser cutter. More because we had nowhere else where we had to access a window. Um, laser cutters require a vent in order for the air that they blow around to blow out somewhere. And then finally, this is my pattern recreation area with my uh, lit table, lit drafting table. I'm someone who like makes a lot of modifications and like constantly adjusts my patterns. So the fact that I now have a light that I can just turn on and make make you know, dupes of patterns. This is the where I digitize things. Um, so if I ever need to design something that I'm going to print um, or put onto my laser cutter or my Cricut, I do it from this station. And then I have uh, my TV for keeping me entertained while I craft here as well. Well, Kate, okay, thank you so much for inviting us into your house and your craft room. It's been real inspiring to see this and to learn about where you do your cosplay. Yeah, super fun. I am mostly active on Instagram. You can find me at Katie Cosplays. Thanks so much. Yeah, we'll see you at a con. See you there. Bye.